This is the new Siri remote from Apple, and I picked it up for $59, so that's how much the standalone model is going to run you. You can also get it included in the new versions of Apple TV for $179 and $199, depending on which capacity you pick up. If you purchase the standalone remote, just make sure your Apple TV is a fourth generation or above to ensure compatibility. Now, I picked it up because I've got a 4K Apple TV that, quite frankly, really didn't feel like it needed replacing. And I've never, ever enjoyed using the Apple TV remote that those models came with. So when I saw this one go back to really more of a focus on button presses and its size difference, I thought to myself, I want to pick this up because I think it'll make a much more enjoyable experience using Apple TV. And I'll show you the remote in just a minute. On the inside of the box, there is some paperwork here. And, of course, we get some regulatory information behind that manual. Does anybody ever read those? Let me know in the comments down below. And then here is a couple of pages talking about the remote itself, how to utilize it, what the buttons are all about, what they do, etc., etc. We also get a charging cable, which is going to be USB to Lightning. And you'll see where you'll plug that in in just a moment here. And then here's the remote. So it's definitely bigger, it's longer, and it's a little bit heavier. But listen to the button presses. So there's a nice satisfying click to it. And what I really appreciate is the power button in the upper right hand corner. Makes it super easy to turn on as well as off your Apple TV and your television set as well. You've got your assistant button along the right hand side. The microphone's up at the top. You've got your lightning connector down below, and that's how you're going to charge up this remote. It does come pre-charged, just a little bit out of the box. And there it is. So I really, really like this one. I'm going to pull in the prior generation remote, and you'll see a size comparison here, and how it now focuses in on kind of that jog wheel here, which, by the way, does still support swiping. But overall, this, for me at least, is a much better experience using this remote. And it just feels a lot more natural than using the older one. So that's a quick look at the Siri remote. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe for even more content. Hit that bell notification to be notified when things go live. And I will catch you guys next time.